Okay, welcome to Wall Button. This is the fourth map in Chapter 8, and again, this map preserves Crouchfly from the previous map, so you're going to want to make sure you still have that. By the way, once you're out of the map where you initially get Crouchfly, um, the crouching limitation no longer applies. So if you have what's known as preserved Crouchfly, uh, you can crouch. So just keep that in mind, and it's fine. So once you get into this map, you want to hit this trigger as soon as possible because that starts a big cutscene with this stuff, the lights turning on. And then you want to shoot a portal here and here just to get over here faster. And strafe over here to this button. And just hit it. And I usually like to stand around here while all of this is going on. In my experience, that results in me dying. I have not died while standing here. If you stand in the wrong spot here, while this cutscene finishes up, it's kind of possible to just die. I don't know exactly why. I think it's like you hit this button, or this button moves into you. But if you have Bet's Rider, obviously, then I don't think you'll die. So, I usually just stand about there to avoid it anyway. So, straight fight here. And also, sometimes here there's like weird collision that can kind of stop you from strafing. I like to crouch in order to avoid that. So hit this button, stand here, and shoot a portal there. And now you're going to want to look here, because when this is done moving, it's going to move you a little bit to the left, and then you'll be able to shoot. And then you want to move right to grab the cube that's about to fall out of the dropper. Like so. And if you miss the cube, you can just push the button again. No biggie. Now, for this shot, there's two options you have for this shot. Uh, what I do, and what I find easier, is you can shoot this blue portal in the top left of this corner, and then crouch, and then run into the cube in order to put yourself at the ground. Another option that you have is to shoot the blue portal precisely on this line. And if you do it right, you will just be able to walk into the blue portal uh, without crouching, and you'll immediately be on the ground here. That is technically faster, but I find that doing this shot precisely on the line uh, can be a little bit challenging. Either way, you're going to want to end up on this platform. And from here you have two options. You just want to get the cube to that button. Uh, the easier way to do it is to shoot a portal there and a portal there and just put it in the funnel and then let it get up there. Gotta let it get pretty high. And then kind of move it across and then put it in the button. Something else you can do uh, is just put it there and throw the cube up. Uh, actually, I should mention, normally when you, do, when you would do a cube throw up, you would jump. But obviously you have crouch fly so you can't jump. So what you can do is stand in this door and jump and it'll push you back down. So you can throw the cube up like so and the funnel will help it stay in place. For a super advanced route, uh, what you can do is actually the same cube throw, but just without a funnel. That's the fastest way to end it, but that cube throw can be a little bit weird. Also, one kind of important thing that I should note. When you first grab this cube, it'll be really close to you, but if you drop it and re-grab it, it'll be further away from you. So when you're flying over here, you want to kind of lightly throw the cube up and then drop it and re-grab it so that it's closer to you. And that way you can end up here. And you can do that throw if you're good with cube throws. You can do the same throw with a funnel. Or if you can't hit the throw at all, you can use this funnel. Um, but using this funnel is really slow, so I would, I would try to go for this throw at least. All right, now to do the whole map in succession. And there's a little dialogue skip at the end that I'll go over real quick. I'm coming, coming, don't start yet, don't start yet. You are not gonna believe this. I found a sealed off wind. Hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers. Just see it there. Film the skeletons, shut them out, good as new. I just kind of have to wait for this to be done. Just 
It's important to re-grab yeah, the cube. To be honest, you can't even tell, can you? Seamless. Oh, just... All right. Now, right there, I did something kind of odd. Um, there's a dialogue skip that you can get here. If you get the throw, either just the normal throw or with the funnel. Oh, disappointed. Um, and you walk into the door. All right, and you're walking into the elevator. Uh, you, ideally, to get the dialogue skip, you want to release forward for a fraction of a second. Somewhere like between a quarter and a half a second. Oh, and you also want to be on the ground, that'll help. Disappointed. It's a bit tight, and it sometimes just doesn't work. But that's what it sounds like if you get it. And if you don't get it, again, no biggie. It's only like a few seconds. Uh, but just something else to keep in mind. And you just enter after she says, oh no, and before it's happening. If you get the dialogue skip, just enter as soon as possible. Alright, that's all you need to know about wall button.